Hello friends, my name is AJ. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to very quickly and efficiently create Quizlet flashcard decks. This will be much quicker than kind of manually inputting everything and putting both the term and manually importing in the definition. Now, if you watched the previous video that I made about the best apps uh, for students to download as well as remote learning students for iOS and Android this year uh, You may have noticed that Quizlet was on the list and I did mention that I was going to make a video on how to very quickly add flashcard decks One of the main reason of, of at least a lot of the people that I've talked to about why they may not use something like Quizlet as their main Studying tool is simply because of the time it takes to import in these different and actually create these flashcards manually for them It would make much more sense to just you know, uh, study it without having to import it in a second or put it into a sec a separate tool than what they usually use. So, but because there are so many good features that Quizlet has, I thought that it, that Quizlet is a very, very good tool to use. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to very quickly add in different flashcard decks from vocabulary lists so you do not have to worry about the time it'll take, and it will take a fraction of the time uh, in order to actually create flashcard decks than it would have in the past. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right over here, I kind of have this sample flashcard uh, or th this uh, sample study set, a blank study set for Quizlet. And what I want to do is I want to actually point to this right over here. So this is I pulled up just from one of my um, from one from one of my teachers within my school, and this is a general vocabulary list for AP Psychology. And you can see over here that there are a bunch of vocabulary terms. There are over, you know, if you scroll down, you can see that there are 54 vocabulary terms. In this case, I'm just going to pull in these 27. So what I actually want to do is, if you're on a Mac, this will work. If you're on a Windows, this will also work. I simply want to grab this. I want to select it. Now, selecting on a PDF sometimes is a little difficult, but I'm going to select all of these words just like this, and I'm going to do Command-C to copy it. Now what I want to do is I actually want to go into, I want to go into almost a, a notepad type of application. If you're on Windows, you will have an application called Notepad. If you're on Mac, you'll have something called Text Edit, which you can quickly, uh, which you can quickly create a new document in. So I'm right over here. I'm going to uh, make this a little bit bigger perhaps. And now I'm going to paste in all of my words. And you can see all of my words are here. Now, if you have a lot of words, you will may you may even have more than just the 27 that I pulled in. You could have 50, you could even have up to 100, depending on what you're trying to add flashcards for. Now, what I simply want to do is I want to make sure that all my kind of words are on one line, and they kind of are. The only one that isn't is right here, the um, adult intelligence scale. This one is split up into kind of two lines. I'm just going to make that one line. And then once I clean it up, what I want to do is I actually want to get rid of all of these numbers right over here so that they're just a list of words. And to do that very easily, I can simply do a command F right here and then just click on replace over here. And what I want to do is I want to basically find and replace all these letters to be, or all the numbers to be nothing. So what I can do is I can type in one and I want to replace it with nothing. So I click on all. And now I'm simply going to cycle through and replace all, all of the different letters right over here, uh, or all the different numbers, sorry. So one to, uh, I did to six, seven, eight, nine, and now zero. And you can see that all of my numbers have been removed. Then I can simply do the a period space and also click all. And now you can see that all of my words have now been simply compiled into a, into a list. There are no more numbers, no more numbering. All of that is gone. So now I have a very easy list that I can work with. And of course, this entire process will be even quicker when you know I'm, I'm currently talking through it. But if you're doing it on your own and you get the hang of it, this is very, very quick. Now, once I have this list, I can simply copy my entire list and go to my Quizlet set. Now what I can do is that there's this button right over here that says import from Word, Excel, Google Docs, etc. If you click this right over here, you can actually see that you can import data and that can turn it directly into flashcards. Some people know about this, some people don't. What I can do is I can simply now paste in my list. And you can see that because I don't have any definitions right now, I can just keep this as tab and new cards or uh, every time they want a new card, you'll have a new line, which is selected over here. 
And now you can see that I have all of my different cards already created. Now there's not a definition, but we're gonna get to that in a second. What I can do is I can just click import, and then just like that, all of my flashcards have been added. Now to quickly add definitions, the good thing about Quizlet is that there's an autocomplete feature. So I can simply click right here, and, and immediately you have a list of definitions. I can just click, and all of these definitions have been curated by other people. So I can simply just click, click, just like that, click through. And you can see that already, just by doing this, I've already in well less, uh, in a significant less amount of time than would have taken me to type up all of these terms, they've already been imported. So I can now very easily add uh, definitions. And these definitions are pulled from other flashcard decks which have a lot of uses on them. So that is pretty much how to very easily add different flashcards into Quizlet. Now, another, uh, another example that I wanna show is actually with a different language. So now I'm going into, for example, when you're doing a foreign language studying. So when you're doing something with like a Spanish, if you're in Spanish class, if you're in like a French class, you may do this with, um, you know, with French or Italian or whatever language you're doing as well. So what I can do is I'm just going to create a new blank set. I'm going to, all right, it's, uh, it's showing me this again. Let me just delete kind of all of these. Uh, actually, I'll just click create here so I can create a new one, a new blank one right over here. All right, and I'll just call this Spanish test. And now what I can do is I can uh, go over to, for example, a word list. This is another word list that I have. And again, the very easy thing is I can just copy all of these in. So I can take all of these right over here and I can just simply take them and click copy, import, paste, and import just like that. And immediately my entire list has been imported into Quizlet. Now in order to actually get the translations, what you have to do is you wanna select and you'll see that you'll have this uh, language should be selected to Spanish on this side. But then you hear on the right side, you have choose language. If you click that, you can click on, for example, English. And now when you click on English, you will get English translations for all of the different things. You can see here Spanish is on the left, English is on the right. And now I can very easily click through and, and uh, you know, add the translations into Quizlet very easily by using this translation feature. Now, the really good thing about this is simply that you're going to be able to you're going to be able to um, import things very quickly and you're going to be spending less time typing and more time actually being able to study your flashcards. Another really good thing with studying is that while you're doing this process, you can actually turn it into a little quiz for yourself. So for example, if I'm scrolling down, right, I can ask myself, what do I think this term is, right, this fifth term? I can think about it and then when I have an idea, I can simply click over here on definitions and then I see the correct thing. So at that point, not, a mo not only am I studying, but at the same time, I'm combining studying with creating the flashcard decks. So now you're actually studying twice. Instead of you know, trying to look up definitions on various websites or typing them in, now you're going to very easily be able to see all your word list already without having to type every single one out, which breaks up the entire the entire process and makes it significantly longer. And now I can very easily just see a term and then even try to study it, uh, or and I'm, and I'm studying while I'm creating my flashcard deck. So I am doing dual purpose here. This is a very, very good thing. Because in the end, when you're working with different studying methods, you also want to focus on your productivity. Because if you're spending a lot of time, for example, um, you know, either reading over notes, while that type of stuff is not actually um, that recommended, it doesn't actually help people learn as well, then something like this is going to be significantly better because you're testing yourself instead of having to read, right, with notes, you know, you're kind of reading notes, you're not actually testing yourself. In this case, you have to physically recall that information when you see it. You don't have any, you know, you don't have any clues. And then once you see that information, then you can click it. And then, and after you've done, after you have actually done reviewing that term, you've now also created a flashcard, which you can then use to study in the exact same way much later on. So that's why this method is very, very easy. Just importing in different things. And if you have definitions, you can add, you know, different, uh, you can add, like a, a tabs in between and you can change what delimiters or spacings you want to do and it's very easy simply to import 
your uh, cards this way rather than typing in everything and simply it just makes the entire process easier and you'll also be able to study while doing it at the same time. All right, everyone, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.